Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Ratman Horatio. All right, so Halo 3 ODST. I meant to do this over the weekend, but I got distracted and my mind became filled with mud. For you see, you see, I got to fall in love with Halo 3 and the Halo franchise all over again. For you see, for you see, if you remember, on streams past, there was someone who popped up in chat. Sniper Wolf. By the way, the uh, bastard didn't follow, didn't leave a follow, but he's an associate I know from a mutual Discord server that is not my Twitch server. He is a friend of friends, if you know the saying. And he and I had previously done some Halo gameplay. Some, some Halo stuff together. But, as it was, that was a while ago. But this time, you see, he, myself, and a third party. If you're familiar with my streams, you might know Forden. Forden is someone who doesn't have a mic. They will occasionally type and mostly just silently play games with me. They make me a little sad. But they do their best, and I respect it. But you see, Forden... Oh yes, the last mission of Halo 3 ODST Legendary. Forden, myself, and that person. Cactus, how you doing? All got together over the weekend and did did the 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 reminiscing, the nostalgic playthrough of Halo 3. And it was just like I remembered. It was amazing. Lord, that thing stinks. So do you, Buck. Kind of reminds me of like <laughs> What was that for? Captain, how about you hang back? Let us clear a path. Agreed. I'll stay with the asset. Give it close cover. All right, so this will be cleaning out the... Uh, not cleaning out, but finishing up my playthrough of Halo 3 ODST, where I had found all the audio logs. All I must do is, well, win. Okay, I have no idea what Buck and Dare are armed with. I think I gave them both sniper rifles at the end of the last level, and they immediately lost them because level transition. Get the damn turret! Shut up, Buck. Yeah, I... It, it wasn't exactly planned, but... But did did a very aggressive, very shitposty playthrough of Halo 3. And, oh god, I've got to fall in love with Halo all over again. And it was the most beautiful thing. Funny story about that, though. As we were doing three-player co-op, and Halo 3 does support up to four players, I, I wanted to get the Elite Miner. I, I wanted to play as the Elite Miner. So, full disclosure, I tried to manipulate the way the game works. So, Ford, Ford in, and the Mutual Associate aren't actually friends or anything. They don't, they don't know each other. We just played together. So, what happened was I joined the, the, the host... Ford joined on me, so he was player three. I then left and rejoined, so I was player three. So I would get the, the nondescript elite miner for Halo 3. What ended up happening was I was playing as Master Chief, the host was Arbiter, and and Ford, Ford got to be the elite miner. I don't understand how character selection works in good old OG Halo 3, but it's there. I guess. I have no idea why I got Chief. If I were younger, I would have been ecstatic, but I wanted to play as as, as our blue boy. As the elite miner who no one knows his name. He does have a name, by the way. Please tell me you have a plasma pistol. You do not have a plasma pistol. Howdy. All right. Like, in in my defense, elites elites are pretty pog. Damn it! I'm a simple man. I like the Sengelis. They 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 got they got that kick-ass weeaboo vibes. 
Not like the mall ninjas, who, who've got very, very lackluster weeaboo vibes. I... On, on a on a mall ninja related tangent, I feel like everyone in their life has met at like just like one mall ninja. Like regardless of where you're from, there's always one. There's one last grunt. Ow. That was Brute Covenant Carbine? That was indeed Brute Covenant Carbine. Alright, I know better this time. I'm going to take my weapons in placement and I'm going to shuffle off to the side and try to just harass. On a related note, over that weekend playthrough, we had a, uh, we had another brute, a brute major, just start berserking while his armor was still on. They don't normally do that. Backing up! <laughs> Backing up. <laughs> At least the ones with the maulers can't hurt me at a distance. That's that's a lie. I'm playing on legendary difficulty. I know full well they can hurt me. Mr. Chief isn't real. Mr. Chief can't hurt you, Mr. Chief. All right. It's clear. Very good. Buck actually probably managed to kill a brute. I'm I'm impressed. I mean, to an extent, I suppose. All the shooting is frightened. Look, look. I'm sure it was significantly scarier being enslaved and strapped with a bomb. And, in all fairness, it seemed a whole lot less cowardly in the last mission, when it was actively running into gunfire. Alright, we need to wait for Virgil. Look at the cute squiddy boy. How you doing, Virgil? Look at him, he's adorable. <laughs> Headbutt's doorway. Please open. Ah. Uh. Take the wheel, rookie. All right, shotgun. Well, this is where the game becomes is going to get very. I'm gonna call it tedious, because I'm stuck relying on Buck, and if I get in the gunner seat, I have to rely on his driving. Hey, uh, Captain, pick a lane. Like you'll notice, despite being shot at, Buck decided to. Yeah, Buck decided to shoot still a, a dead grunt instead of a living one, and that's going to become a frequent issue as we go down this highway. The seams have already started to show at the very beginning. You see that? Hey, Captain, pick a lane. Gotta be kidding me. I'm doing the best I can. Just stay out of our way. Covenant must have shut these doors. Give the engineer a second to override the lock. That's it. We're moving 
Please stop shooting the already dead grunts. You don't need to confirm the kills on the grunts. All right, arguably this is the right decision. Nope. Until we get, uh, until we get the Goss Hog, technically, getting Buck to take the rocket launcher. My dogs are barking. Let me in. Hey, that rocket launcher of some description. Oh God, he got on the back. Anywho, yes. NPCs with a fuel rod have light homing on them. Or at least they did last time I gave a fuel rod to... to the non-player character. Please, Buck, I beg you. Why couldn't you get in the passenger seat, Buck? All I needed to do to do was get in the passenger seat. More trouble. Why must you get in the back? If you were in the passenger seat, this would be much better. Alright, fuel rod seems to definitely be better than the normal rocket launcher this time around. Fuck, I'm begging you to shoot. Fuck, it, it's not that hard. Point and click adventure game, my guy. That one with the brute shot is uh, a problem. God fucking damn it. Maybe, maybe staying on the normal warthog is the, is the play. Granted, this thing is not doing good. Alright, will, will Buck perform the Arbiter, the Arbiter teleport? If you're unfamiliar with what I mean, in Halo 3, during the Warthog run, if you somehow managed to get away from Arbiter, or if he died in the back of your Warthog, he would just teleport to you. He teleport. He would just decloak in the back seat of your of your warthog. It's still there. I need to save at least one shot with this thing. Get ready. More of them. Actually, no, I can just I give that to him now. Oh, God, it's... Mm. There it is. I was gonna say, where are the fuel rods? Don't do this to me, I need those fuel rods. They're absolutely necessary for survival. Captain's in trouble. Yes, Captain is in trouble. Shields falling. Take out those covenants. Wow, this all seems like a you problem there, and it's about to become a me problem. I'm curious to see how long it'll take to die. Take much more of this. Okay, it's a bunch of drones. Heads up, rookie. The captain's in trouble. Shields falling. Take out those covenants. Indeed. Alright, so chances are we're gonna have to checkpoint. That's okay. Down. 
You only lost your shields now? Those are some impressive shields. Can I please convince you to get in the passenger seat? Get in the passenger seat. Get in the passenger seat. Come on. God damn it. I guess he's programmed not to get in the passenger seat unless, well, you know, you're on the gun. Or, you know, someone's on the gun and he's just around, I guess. How the hell did... You know, part 390 of Dare Should Be Dead. No if hands or but, buts about it. Buck. Buck, you are the embodiment of disappointment, and I see why Dare left you. can't take much more of this. M shields! At least you have shields. And don't have to get by on grit. I hate you so much, Buck. Get in! Oh, I hate you so much, Buck. There are no levels, no words for the levels of hate and spite I have for you. Get in! Oh my god. It's pulling teeth with you! Now you get in the passenger seat! I'm so upset. <laughs> I need Buck to be in the passenger seat of this transport hog, so, you know, yeah. Oh, he's only getting in the back. Now he's in the passenger seat. I say again, I can't take much more of this. I'm on death's door. So you'll get over it, or you'll die. Hey, hold up! It's a gas hog! Let's change vehicles! Fucking sign me up. Give us some cover while they recharge. They got the Oliphant? Veronica, no! The engineer's dead. Oh, I guess I guess it had a sliver of health. I I Full stop blame Buck for all of this. Sure, sure, I've made some questionable tactical decisions, but you can only blame me for so much. I full stop blame Buck's room temperature IQ. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
He's trying his best. He's an ODST. I expect better. Buck, please. You were so ready to get out of the tra transport hog last time. Oh, fuck it. Put me in the gunner seat. What? Buck! Buck, please! I hate... There are no words for the level of pain I'm in. Shotgun. I swear to God, Buck. Get in the gunner seat. Buck. Buck. Friendly fire. <laughs> I'm trapped in the ninth circle of hell and I can't escape. I am undergoing the trials. I am pushing the boulder up the hill. And every time I get it to the top, it rolls back down again. Buck, I beg you! Fuck it. Maybe I can get to the Goss Hog. Save me! No, 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 no! Don't, don't go! Don't- uh, <laughs> Okay, Buck, I need you to get in. Buck, I desperately need you to get on the gun. Buck, I beg you. Use those two brain cells. Buck! I can't tell what has what has a, a numerical advantage. Buck's name or his IQ. Heads up, rookie. The captain's in trouble. Shields falling. Take out those covenants. Shield is down. Give us some cover while. Well, we're it's dead. You got the all about? Veronica, no! Buck! <laughs> Buck, please, I beg you! Oh, yeah, I'm hurt. Is it done? So, not only can I not get in the gunner seat, right, Buck won't get in the gunner seat because he won't drive. I can't get in the gunner seat because Buck won't drive. Buck won't get in the gunner seat anymore for some reason. Buck, you team killing fucktard, you're supposed to protect Dare. Well, that time it survived to the end. Buck casually throwing the whole mission. Pretty much. Buck! It's better to have you than to not, but my god, you are the problem. Maybe it's because I gave him a launcher. It didn't work earlier, it didn't force him in the passenger seat earlier, so that's less of an issue.
No! Come on! Uh. Let's let's restart the mission. That's going so horribly that I want to do over. It sucks that I'm all the way back here. But like close cover. Outside of trying to force the um check the the soft lock prevention, the checkpoint rollback. I, it's just too much fucking for me. It, uh... Company. I will pay you any amount of money to never speak to me again, Dare. I'm not a wealthy man, but I'd be willing to give up my assets in order to just remove you and Buck. I'm on your side. Shut the fuck up, Buck. How the fuck does Buck become a Spartan? You know, I think Maroon 5 wrote a song about this. It's called, uh, Misery. Please. I can I can I have a gun Lord placement? Pay me enough for this kind of garbage collection. You get paid? I guess it's classic. Mm. No, I, I can't make those kind of spicy. Must have replaced his brain, maybe. Is this where I joke that it's three four three backpatching the Master Chief collection to make it worse? To make infinite seem better? That- that's baseless, you know, sh verbal shit posting, but... I made it through first attempt. Waterfront highway. There are little problems. Can't that thing move any faster? All the shooting is frightening. Want me to give it a little push? Just trying to help. Uh, friendly fire! Indeed, it is friendly fire. It is the friendliest of fires. It's what you deserve. This way. Should be an elevator right through here. God, I want to take this rifle like a baseball bat and just smack Set Buck. Tight. We'll need the alien to power on the switch. You, you are the source of all of my suffering, Buck. It's like ketchup or barbecue sauce. Look, I'm just painting. Delish. Okay, we're all set. All right, let's try this again, but with less dying. Take the wheel, rookie. I'll ride I... shotgun. Okay, for starters, you're not riding shotgun. Secondly, if you ride shotgun again, I I will I will personally kill Dare. And and hey, the uh, and the jellyfish. Pick a lane. Captain, pick a lane. Fucking. 
in all fairness, that is a two-lane vehicle. It is a double-wide surprise. Sign me up for death. Almost got the warthog blown out of the arena. That's great to see. Take the wheel, rookie. I hate I'll you, Buck. Shotgun. Hey, uh, Captain? Pick a lane. Crowded in here. The engineers doing something on the control circuit. In the time it took Buck to kill a single grunt, <laughs> I splattered almost all of the others in the squad. That's gotta be kidding me. Uh, the best I can. Just stay out of our way. That thing's live, mister. Get out. Give me an angle. Covenant must have shut these doors. Give the engineer a second to override the lock. Buck, please. You're causing me pain here, bud. Kill me at this point. Don't worry, we got you covered. I swear, the game really wants you to to, to go for roadkill, to splatter enemies, and then it's just like, okay, <laughs> grunts throw grenades, enjoy. Also, did did that jackal clip through my back my back tires, the entire ass end of my warthog? Buck. Buck, the least you could do is in a single volley kill a target instead of stopping shooting when it was still alive. Relying on you to not mess this. Please shoot at the Buck. I hate you so much, Buck. Right, I'm sure Buck can handle this with his chain gun. Why hasn't he super combined yet? Gives me conniptions. Dare! Dare, engineer, why? Oh. 
Please, I beg you. Target prioritization. Keep her steady. I'm I'm sure Dare will be fine. Please shoot the ghost, please shoot the ghost, please shoot the ghost, please shoot the ghost. Oh, he took his sweet time. Stay on hey, this is for Earth. Get away from there! Keep it steady! Be careful! I guess this is why they make the, the Oliphant so tanky, is because they really don't expect Buck to be able to perform. Hey, hold up! It's a Gauss Hog! Let's change vehicles! Same deal, Trooper. You drive, I'll shoot. If you get into the passenger seat, I'm fucking your wife. I could use a relaxing drive. Ready to rock! Please, target prioritization. The ghosts! The ghosts! It, it, it only took me multiple runs and having to restart the level, but he finally did what he was programmed to do. I hate you so much, Buck, and your ability to kill things is so lackluster. Oh, uh, I knew this was gonna be the hiccup part. Where things got difficult, not because the game is hard, but because the game is dumb. What are... I'll, I'll take it, as long as he's actually shooting targets. Please. Buck. Why is your, your range so poo? Why is it bad? Why can you not kill? This is the exact opposite of the usual problem I have of why does it kill? Why can't you kill? All right, I'm just gonna hide behind the fucking warthog. Stay on target. Good work. Even after all that, he didn't actually manage to kill everything. Buck, the scarab. I see it. Must have Please, Buck, I beg you. It is a lone banshee. Buck! I beg you, Buck, shoot the Banshees! I get that the... Screaming! Finally, my fate is in my own hands. Shield falling. Take out those covenant. Shut up, Dare. Thanks for the help. Concentrate on driving. I got this. Yeah. I swear they dropped an AA Wraith just for this.
Buck, you can you can progress on foot, Buck. I, I can work with this. At least this way, my mistakes are my own. I'll take gunner duty. <laughs> Move out. Neat question, why? I'm hit. Assault carrier. Ten o'clock high. But the size of that thing. As you say, those ghosts didn't die. Alright, please tell me there's a fresh... There's a fresh scarab at the end of this... Of this shit creek. If there isn't, I'm still gonna stick with this scarab, because it's better. It gives me control over where the damage goes. Indeed it is, Dare. On the other side of the city. Don't let that damn turret fire one more round. Clean and clear. And there's a weapons locker, but it doesn't have rockets. All it has is some machine guns. Whoopee! Fun fact, Buck was at Reach. Buck survived the events of Reach TM. When playing through Halo Reach, you can actually find Buck. He's part of a side mission. No, 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 no. We're gonna keep rolling as far as we can. Get airborne, ride the Phantom to my beacon. Understood. So whatever you do, stay clear of that carry. Alright, my Scorpion's in really bad shape, but it's... I'm never gonna give it up, never gonna let it down. Never gonna run around and desert it. By the end of this, I may cry, but not gonna lie, not gonna desert it. Scarab's back. Yep. It's a good thing it can't die like this. What about you? Okay. 
Take the next off ramp. I see a building north side of the highway. We'll hold up there. Wait for evac. Yes. Out of the vehicle, trooper. Let's go. Veronica, wait here. Rookie, let's secure that building. All right, time for the easy part of the mission. The wave defense. Area secure. Veronica, come to us. We'll come. Our definitions of secure vary wildly. Mickey, what's your ETA? Had to reroute, Gunny. The whole damn city's on fire. Trooper, I have a tier one asset and a whole bunch of Covenant that want it dead. Step on it. Yes, ma'am. Rest easy. You know what, whatever. I'm sure those two can hold the line, like Captain Hirakira, he says in all of his motivational spirit speeches. Ah. I, I played a game of chicken, and it was a really dumb game p game of chicken to play because they have homing rockets. I, on the other hand, do not. As long as Virgil hangs out back here, he's basically unkillable. Because of that. Buck's there as well with his fuel rod, so he's got extra shots and they can cover each other while they reload. They're not going to, but they can. fun tidbit you can learn from the firefights. There's actually a way down there from within there. Unfortunately, I don't have access to it, so I'm shit out of luck. Smaller, smaller fuel rod. Where, where is their fuel rod, Brute? I need, I need to know where he is. There he is. Oh, you bastard. I'm sure they can handle it. Alright, where's, where's, where's... Here it is. Alright, so I want Dare to have the uh, fuel rod over the rocket launcher, because the fuel rod has more shots. The fuel rod will allow her to, to fire more consecutively. I'm gonna hang out back here with Virgil and um, push this box into the way. Engage. 
Hey, look, some people call it cowardice, I call it strategy. Don't worry, I'm sure they have this. I'm sure they can handle it. I believe in them. Because they have unlimited health and I do not. Hello, Virgil. How are you? Dare? What, what are you... I don't want to know. I'm, you, you know what? It's fine. It's beautiful, it's like fireworks. It is the epitome of turnabout is fair play. No brutes allowed in Fort Kickass. Are you actually trying to take pot shots at the Wraith? Alright, he popped in Vaughn because he's alone, he's supposed to be berserking, but I'm not going out there to fight him. Are you? Alright, so Mickey and Dutch should be... Mickey, Dutch, and Romeo. Yep, there they are. Hardest part of this game is uh, rust, rust, and having to rely on 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 Buck. That thing's safe. All right, there's the epilogue. Fantastic. 
So the uh, the two things I unlocked were from over the weekend whenever I was doing stuff with, with my associates. We played through Halo 3, and it was amazing. We then tried Halo 4, and um, it turned into a deathmatch as we were just killing each other and over and over again because the amount of dead time there is where you can't do any gameplay and you basically just have to wait for the game's exposition to finish. And as time went on, we grew more and more... I don't know. <laughs> more bored to tears and we just kind of went for it. Alright, are there any others? No. No, there are not. Alright, that's that's the proverbial capstone of, of doing as I was asked. Someone wanted me to go through Halo 3 ODST Legendary Solo, and I did. Granted, I already had Halo 3... ODST, Legendary Solo, Legendary Co-op done. It's just... It was nice to do it again, other than that last mission. Coastal Highway can suck my nuts. It wasn't great. Alright, what what about Halo 3? Halo 3? Yeah, that that's all cleaned up. I can tell you what game I haven't done on Legendary, and that's Halo 2, because I don't hate myself. Yeah, the heretic, the armory. I got to Cairo Station. I'm just like, nah, nah, fam. Elites that can survive getting stuck is not fun. I did, I, I did skip Cairo Station. I went to outskirts. Outskirts was easy. And then there's Metropolis and Arbiter. And... Ooh. Halo Reach. Did I, did, I know I did this at least on Heroic. Hmm, yes. One of those, I started solo legendarying it, and then I got bored, tired, disillusioned, whatever you want to say. I've never actually finished a solo playthrough of, uh, of Halo Reach. Well, no, I have on console way back in the day, but... Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the natural point of, this isn't fun anymore, when Exodus, when Exodus kicks. Alright, Combat Evolved. I think I did solo Legendary this. Oh no, I, I co-op legendary it. I think back in the day it was me and Ford. Going through this solo on, on Legendary can be an experience, mostly because of this fucking level. Did you know there's an achievement for getting through the library on Heroic or Legendary difficulty without dying? And Halo 4 exists, and I lament ever playing this. Did I manage to get through it on normal? Yeah, yeah, I did. I got through it on normal difficulty. I then co-op through on heroic, and every time I play this game, it brings me suffering. Where did where did we get to? Whenever we were co-oping, we got to shut down, I think. No, we got to reclaimer, and we got too too invested in RDMing each other that we just. There's just so much dead time where you aren't doing anything but waiting for the set piece to change. You aren't fight like, like reclaimer is is where you realize that that the days of fighting your way and gaining ground and going through narrative elements is gone. Reclaimer reclaimer is a serious Sam game where you go from arena to arena with pre-placed enemies and you just deal with them, occasionally with more spawning in whenever you pick up MacGuffins. I mean, I guess Halo 3 had similar things, but normally it had, like, smatterings of normal enemies scattered about it too, so there was something to do. In 4, 4, you were an abomination. Oh yeah, I, d I did the entire Master Chief saga. I think I started the uh, the Arbiter journey as well. No.
guilty pleasure. Ah, fight alongside three four three guilty. I'm just what are these just really good maps? No, they're they're levels with uh, with spark. Right. Right. I'm going to take a look at the exchange and then the catalog. See see if there's anything I want anymore. Catalog. Alright, so I finished Noble, I finished Spark, I finished Recon. Now I got to Reclaimer. Is Reclaimer any good? You know, I wish I could actually get a preview of what the skin looks like on the gun. Instead of just a, a template and then an outline of the weapon. Like, it'd be really nice if they just, you know, used the image. Well, you know, just had an image of it. It's almost like it's their game and they should be able to do that. Alright, so this is where most of the Halo 3 skins come in. Ah, and there's some Halo 4 at the very, very end. No, there, there's... Oh boy, bolt shot skins. Alright, do I want any of these? I guess the submachine gun skin ain't bad. Shotgun skin ain't bad. Anvil... I think Anvil's where it started going... Yeah, it added the uh, the funky Halo 3 armors. And I'm going to be honest, I hate them. That's why I'm not getting them. I would say if I didn't absolutely need it in order to progress and get the other weapon skins. Customize in menu. I mean, there is customization here, but... Not, not in the catalog itself. You can't preview skins. Also, pizza time. Do I even have any Halo 3 weapon skins? Uh, yeah, I got one for the battle rifle. Not for the sniper rifle. Yeah, ah, I see, I see, so... Yeah, these these came in the later series. <laughs> uh, I, I do appreciate that that you can watch the slow descent into in, to insanity. Like, okay, here's the default skin. Here's series four where they're pretending to still somewhat go for it. You know. Then series five, they're they're starting to to touch and go into the wackier stuff. Series six hits and they've really let the mask go, and then. Just things, things slide way out of control. I mean, I guess I could say that I'm glad they're there. Having customization, having customization options is good. I won't be using them, but I'm sure other people might. All right. Well, that's. It's all for Halo for now.